hello what's up guys welcome back to the course welcome back to this episode so in our previous tutorials we learned about how to attach various stresses into a roof or under a roof so on this episode of our course we are going to try to change the materials in case you are designing a type of trusses in which you want a specific type of material in use so how do you change various type of trusses when i rotate my trusses somewhere like this and i select one of it gives me more the type of properties when i come to the type properties i have the bottom cord i have the top cord and i have the vertical webs and the diagonal webs here as well so if you want to change the type of material you just have to come to structure framing type here then these are the various types in which we have here so we have this ones as well so i can change all of them to hss which is hollow section hollow steel section so i can change various of them here hollow steel section After that I'll do apply here and do OK from here. OK, that it has an effect on all of the trusses that we've done because it was one type of truss in which we do. So in order to have different material like a wood or a timber just have to come into your structure tab from here and you select beam then you check the type of material in which you have or the structural type of material in which you have so we have the hss which we recently used we have the concrete here and we have the universal beams here so what we are going to do is to load in a timber so that we can change the material into a timber so i'll come to my load area here and i'll browse through structure frame and i'll look for wood here so i'm going to load a dimensional lumbar into my template so i'll do open from here as well and also with a specific type i'm going to use 89 by 89 So after loading this, you can check from your edit type that the properties has been added or the family has been added. So after adding this, you just have to come again into your 3D section, select your steel truss, you come to edit type, then you change various of them to dimensional lumbar. So there we have it so this is how to change your structure type of material in revit i hope you're gonna practice this so you become perfect with it thank you for watching this video see you in the next video peace shalom bye